A couple of videos ago I wanted to prove the point that digital clipping is pure information loss whereas saturation preserves the details to the point where you can actually reverse it and get the original sound back. And so I built a free VST plugin which I called the Saturation Reverser to demonstrate that which I have free on my website and you can just download it. So I didn't expect that many people to download it because it's just a really simple plugin, one line of code to distort it and one line of code to reverse that distortion. But to my surprise a lot of people downloaded it and were really enthusiastic about this plugin. Plugin. One guy used it to reduce the distortion on a poorly recorded piano, but that wasn't even my point. My point was just to show that you can reverse saturation, not that you can actually get any use from this plugin. I thought it was a pretty useless plugin and no one's going to care about it. So I was a bit surprised. And so I thought, well, if people are so enthusiastic about free plugins and saturation stuff, well, I can do a better job than that. It was just two lines of code. So I made a better saturation plugin for you guys. It's got eight algorithms, it's got fixed four x oversampling to reduce those aliasing artifacts and i thought i've seen a lot of different distortion and saturation plugins and they've always got like 12 db or 6 db or maybe 24 db of gain and i've always wondered like why you can just have as much gain as you want we're on, we're using digital audio here so i was just like okay 120 db of gain is a bit ridiculous because after a while it's just white noise and i've got a little screen there that you can see what's happening in terms of the transfer function and i've got the mathematical formulas if you know how to read mathematical equations all the formulas for every algorithm is up in the top right corner what else have i got here so i've got parameter smoothing as well there so if you want to do any automation with this you can use it on sine waves to get weird sort of um, distorted growling bass sounds so yeah this plugin is a lot more useful than the original saturation reversal plugin that parameter smoothing especially you can really do some cool automation with sound design stuff so you can grab it from my website it's for mac and windows and for the mac users who are getting unidentified developer warnings when trying to use some of my other plugins well i've now just bought a subscription to Apple so I can be an identified developer and so now it's notarized signed so when you open up uh, the plugin now it's in a DMG for Mac users and you can just drag those into your audio unit directory or your VST plugin directory, the VST3 plugin directory. And then when you open it in your DAW, you'll no longer get an unidentified developer warning because I'm now an identified developer. So I hope you get some good use out of this plugin. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And in my next video, I've got some really cool Eurorack content coming. So stay tuned for that.